Okay, so we're back to Steve and Rick. Steve has three times as much money as Rick. Together they have 72. How much does each have? We're going to say X is the money Steve has, Y is the money Rick has. Liliana, you were giving me an equation. Steve has three times as much money as Rick. Do you have it set up the same way I do? Uh, no. Okay, so then yours is right for yours. So it depends how you have this set up. You have it set up the same way I do? Yeah. And then what'd you write for your first equation? Yes. So if you said that Steve was X, Steve has three times as much money as Rick, right? So, in order for them to be equal, I'd have to take Rick's amount of money and multiply it by three to get him equal to what Steve has. Think about it. If you take Steve's money and multiply it by three, he already has more money. Now you're making him have way more money. And you can't set them equal to each other. So you're just changing their sentence into math. Steve, which is X, has equals three times as much as Rick. Three times what Rick has. There's your equation right there, okay? Don't make it harder than it has to be. Just read the words, change the words into math. Here's another equation. Together they have $72. What's my second equation? Go ahead, Liliana. That's it. X plus Y equals 72. Together they have $72. Does this make sense? Now that you see it out? Okay. If I'm going to solve this one, bless you. I would certainly do substitution because it's already set up for me. I have x equal to 3y, so I'm just going to pop a 3y in for x over here. 3y plus y equals 72. 4y equals 72. Oh, why did I write a 6? I don't know. Divide both sides by 4, you get 18. Is that right? Good. So y stands for what? Yeah, so Rick has $18. Rick has 18. They want both. So how much does Steve have? How much does Steve have? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go right here, right? If Y is 18, that means X would be 3 times Y, $54. I'm begging you to go back and make sure that it makes sense. Steve has three times as much money as Rick. If Steve has 54, is that three times what Rick has? Because I'm telling you, there's going to be some people that mix these two up. They're going to have the Y here and the X here when it shouldn't have been that way. But if you do all the work and then you check, if it doesn't make sense, you're like, oh, wait, that, that's not right. Math will help you find an error if only you look for it. So go back and make sure that you really have Steve three times bigger than whatever Rick has. And make sure that their sum really is $72. Is 18 and 54 together really 72? Yes, so I know I'm right. Okay, so that's it for that one.